Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, so today I'm going to kind of continue the series I have of like how to inspect or what I look for when I'm inspecting things. Um, so today we're going to check out the, uh, the toilet. I'm going to show you what I look for um, when I'm inspecting the toilet, um, different things, clearances, um, how it operates, stuff like that. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I usually do is I'll check the tank, which is this top piece here. I'll make sure that it's mounted solidly um, and it's not loose, um, which this one's solid. Um, a loose tank can tend to leak where the seal meets the bowl down here. Um, and I've had that happen before where you could uh, see a little water dripping down from the tank um, onto the bowl and then down onto the ground just because this is loose and the seal is, uh, is um, damaged. So um, that's the first thing I do. Second thing I do is I'll check the bowl. Um, make sure it's not loose and how I do that is I'll put like my leg my knee on one side and I'll kind of nudge it Other side nudge it so you can see this one is a little bit loose So this one needs to be tightened up and or uh, taken off to check the seal make sure the seal still good Because that's going to be a leak point as well as down here um, We're underneath the, to the toilet where the toilet like the drain part meets the seal um, so, and sometimes whenever I'm flushing it um, and it, it is leaking, you can see it come out onto the floor here. So that's another thing I'm going to be checking for. Um, then I'll kind of take a look around the tank, um, bottom, everything, make sure there's no cracks. Um, because it, you don't really want to be replacing a damaged toilet if you miss something like that. So um, I'm checking for cracks, anything like that. Um, I'll check the seat, make sure the seat's good. Um, a lot of times, you know, people, will re that's like one of the things that replace whenever they move into a new house is this, the toilet seat. Um, so if it's loose like this one is, I might note it. Um, but yeah, so that's a couple of things I look for before I, I test it. Um, a lot of guys will note that there's no caulk around the bottom of the toilet. Um, I don't because if the toilet is leaking or it has a small leak, I want to be able to see that water come out especially if they're like there's a crawl space underneath where the toilet's mounted homeowner's not going to be going down there and you know noticing that there's a leak coming in through the um bottom of the toilet from underneath so um when the toilet is leaking i want to be able to see that um and if this is all caulked around here it's going to trap that water underneath the toilet and you'll never know it's leaking until you know one day the toilet just falls through the subfloor because the subfloor is so rotted so uh that's something that's one thing some inspectors will look for and note i don't um just because i i want the homeowner or whoever to be able to see the water coming out from underneath the toilet if it is leaking um another thing i'm looking for before i test it um is if there's a shut off um any kind of plumbing fix fixture should have a shut off at the appliance just kind of like how in the the last video when i was inspecting the sink i wanted to make sure there's hot water cold water shut off underneath the sink for the water lines um, so that's all we're looking for this is a leak point right here where the connection is this is a leak point here where the shut off is so i'll check those two areas make sure that there's no leakage in those areas um, so just to kind of recap real quick leak points are going to be the water line connections the shut off um, where the tank meets the toilet bowl and then underneath the toilet bowl here um, so what i'll do is i'll lift the toilet give it a flush make sure it flushes good uh, i don't put anything in the toilet when i flush it um, just because a lot of times you know you might have a vacant house and there's no toilet paper or anything to put in it um, so that's that's one thing i don't do um, so i recommend for if you move into a house, um, as soon as you move in, flush some toilet paper, some solids, make sure everything goes down smoothly. Um, I also recommend if you have a little bit older of a house that you, with the home inspection, you get a sewer scope just to make sure the drain is all good, uh, the main drain line. So I'll flush it probably four or five times. I'm checking to make sure it refills at a decent rate. Uh, sometimes toilets will just run and run and run couple minutes before they refill um, and that's an issue also they might just keep running um, because like a flap or something stuck open 
or the floats not working or whatever so um, I'll be checking for that listening for that um, whenever I flush the toilet too I want to make sure it's not double flushing um, sometimes that'll happen if the flap inside the in, inside the tank is messed up um, the flap stays open and then the toilet will actually flush again right after the initial flush uh, so that's another thing I'm looking for but yeah so that's pretty much it when inspecting a toilet um, really just making sure it's mounted uh, sturdy like it's not loose at the tank or at the bowl uh, making sure there's no leaks no cracks and make sure uh, making sure it flushes properly also what I'm looking for with the toilet is clearances proper clearance so from the dead center of the toilet to the wall both sides either wall or to either object whatever it might be a wall or sink or something needs to be a minimum of 15 inches so from the center to the walls or whatever just is to either side needs to be a minimum 15 inches then in front of the toilet so from the front of the toilet down needs to be a minimum of 21 inches so there could be a sink here a wall here whatever it just needs to be 21 inches of clearance that way basically just so that people can fit on the toilet um, and have comfortable amount of space to stand in front of it comfortable amount of space for their legs if they're sitting on it um, both side to side and front so uh, 